Hello, welcome to this edition of Friday Sews. My name is Celeste and we are in my sewing room. It's Friday Sews is a hashtag that Jen in today's in Jen's sewing room has started where we as sewers can talk about what we've been doing throughout the week in our sewing room as well as a little bit of life. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do apologize that I missed last week. Um, I did try to get the word out through my community tab that I was sick. I mean, I could not talk at all. Today, at least I can talk, but I sound like a frog. Um, so, um, you know, I'm making some progress. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I do apologize for not being able to speak last week and share some things that are going on in my sewing room. So as far as sewing, there has been no progress on that because I have not felt 100% and when I did feel well, I did go to work and try to do a little bit. I'm not contagious anymore, um, <clears throat> but when I got home, I was just tired. But what I have done is a little bit of organization or attempting to organize a few things. So two weeks ago, I shared, I'm trying to revamp how I do my machine embroidery stabilizers, how I store them. And I showed you a big fail. If you didn't see that, make sure you catch that. That is not working. So as I was uh, trying to fumble my th way through the closet to retrieve all of those rolls of embroidery stabilizers, I figured that I might as well try to reconfigure my closet to make it more functional. And in the process, I discovered a few things. So let me show you kind of where I am and maybe you can uh, give a few suggestions um, on how to do this, but also it led to at least putting one thing on my Res Solutions for 2024. Let's pop over and I'll show you what I've been doing. So initially this filing cabinet was right here with the drawers facing out. Uh, really what's in here is old tax documents and old files from my former office that I really need to go through. So not something that I really am going to use every day. So I kind of put it this way, uh, put one of my sewing machine tops right here. This is one of my cutting mats. I'm thinking about putting like a large command hook to hang this there. Um, and then this is a bunch of scrapbooking supplies that I'm going through and kind of weeding through those to see which ones I'll still continue to use. And I'm planning to put that a little closer here, which will open up a little bit more floor space right in here. Now, these are already containers of pictures that I've put by year for future scrapbook albums. Um, I really need to add that to my resolutions for next year. Um, to start kind of getting some of that done. But what I discovered were all of these embroidery hoops that my mother had. I don't think she ever used them. I think she purchased them, went to a class, and then she took care of my dad when he was um, in failing health, and then she became quite ill. So I think these are all brand new. And so my one of my resolutions for the next year is to do a search on each of these and see if I can find some way, a tutorial on how to use them because they're added um, either software or hoops that I need to become familiar with because I'm not familiar with that at all. Machine embroidery is not one of the things that I feel very skilled at doing, but I did discover she has a magnetic hoop, which when I was doing all of those embroidery bags for the kids in my church and having a lot of problems with my hands, um, I have this. So I need to take that out and look through it. So one of my resolutions is figuring out how to use this and use the machine embroidery feature better. So it's kind of interesting <laughs> when you start one thing and how it compiles, you know, compounds, I guess I should say. Uh, to more and more. I was just trying to organize one thing and it led to this entire project, but um, that's such is life, isn't it? Uh, this is the week before Thanksgiving, so I want to wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, are you traveling? Are you staying home? Uh, we are staying here. Um, <clears throat> I've just put my little grocery list together that I will have for pickup later on today. 
uh, to prepare for that. So um, it's just going to be the two of us this year. I have usually we uh, invite a lot of people from our church that don't have family close by, but even though we're not contagious, all this stuff, it doesn't sound very pleasing. <laughs> and so I don't want my guests to think that, you know, uh, they're going to be contaminated uh, because we are not contagious. I know that for sure. Uh, but we just sound horrible uh, right now. So we're going to do probably those little ham steaks. And my husband likes mashed potatoes. I like mashed sweet potatoes with a little bit of um, maple syrup in there and a little bit of pecan. Someone gave us um, a a pound of pecans from their pecan farm as a gift. So I'll be making my husband a pecan pie. That's his favorite Thanksgiving pie. Mine's pumpkin. I love pumpkin. What's your favorite kind? Put that in the comments below. I'd love to see what you like to eat. Um, and then we'll probably have some green beans or a salad, croissant rolls, and then I'll do kind of um, or an hors d'oeuvre tray of cheese and salamis and a shrimp cocktail, and then uh, for breakfast, Thanksgiving morning, I'll probably make my homemade cinnamon rolls that my husband really likes, and so uh, then we'll just kind of be grazing for the rest of the day, and then go visit my mom um, where she is living, so that's kind of what we will be doing, taking it a little easy, and then um, do you start the night of Thanksgiving decorating your house for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas? Um, well, I do, so as soon as Thanksgiving dishes are done, then here come the Christmas decorations and they are starting to be put up in my house um, because we are hosting a large uh, dessert fellowship on December the 10th. And so I have just a short window to get my house decorated and then also plan for that. But thankfully people will be bringing desserts so I don't have to do all the dessert making, which is wonderful. <laughs> So, what are you going to buy for Black Friday for your sewing room? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, so, if you have any suggestions on some things that I should be keeping my eye out, maybe you've seen some pre-sale flyers. Um, I would love to know that as well. Put that in the comment below because I am compiling my list uh, for Christmas. My husband keeps asking me, what do you want for Christmas? And I don't need anything. Uh, but I bet was thinking maybe some things for baking or my sewing room. And so I'm just kind of stuck. So if you have any suggestions, I would love for you to put that in the comments below for me to kind of think maybe outside of my very small box that I'm thinking of. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, I do hope that you have a wonderful holiday season with your families and friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll pop another one up for here for you to look at uh, if you're interested. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.